thanks to be here after uh, before the lunch lunch. Mm, well, so I've gotten involved in uh, LibreOffice uh, since uh, 2010, uh, about, uh, and uh, um, I was immediately sure that it was a, a, a re very, really interesting uh, free office suite project, very interesting, which would improve uh, the project at the, at the beginning. When LibreOffice was created, I was sure that it could uh, be improved easily, and it was uh, the future of the, of the productivity suites. Uh, for me, it's a great opportunity to promote free and open source software uh, and, uh, on the desktop of the user. And uh, the productivity suite is quite important for this, uh, in particular for pro professional desktop environments and uh, to get a job, in particular when you, 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 are, you have a job in the service. Uh, in the service. Uh, so it means that if such uh, productivity suite isn't accessible, mm, it excludes people. Uh, from uh, the community and the opportunity to have uh, a, a job, uh, to get a job. Uh, and when we know that in the world there are more than 36 million of people which don't have any, any capability to see, which are, which are blind, uh, like I am blind myself, uh, you have an idea of the number of the people which are excluded when some office um, co collaborative and uh, productivity suite isn't accessible. Uh, but given the, 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 the size of the code and, and the LibreOffice is uh, seven millions uh, of, uh, of code lines, uh, so of course it's not really possible to imagine that we can affect someone to track bugs uh, in each new patch and to follow any new bug arrival. It's absolutely impossible because it's a so massive work. Uh, however, anyone can help without specific skills in accessibility, and it, was, uh, it, it, it is what I, I would like to, to explain today for you. Mm, such help uh, would have, of course, a lot of benefits because it uh, would uh, highlight uh, all the, the, the inclusive approach resulting from the, the freedom of the free software and the, the, the equality. Uh, all the employees uh, which work with LibreOffice, uh, in particular when uh, companies migrate to LibreOffice, uh, would be included in the same organization without any difference. And uh, for example, we, we, we could, thanks to the, the fact that the software is free, uh, we could add some plugins, some add-ons to, mm, to do that. With the same office suite, uh, we get uh, a, a, a fully inclusive thing. And it's the role of plugins such as, such as ODT to Bri, ODT to Daisy, or, or tools to, to, to as Grammarlike, etc. cetera. Uh, then help promote LibreOffice uh, in front of uh, exclusive tools would be more easy, uh, easier if uh, it uh, would uh, fix a lot of accessibility problem. Today it's not absolutely easy. I would say it's difficult. Uh, to validate the importance of the difficulty, we tried the following method. We took a training plan for Office, Microsoft Office. We tried, well, there are these skills that are trained during a, a, a training for Microsoft Office. And uh, I know that all these skills are possible to be accomplished in Microsoft Office by a blind person because it's accessible uh, from a way or from another, but it's accessible. Then we'd say, well, is it the same? Is it as accessible as with Microsoft Office? With LibreOffice. Is it accessible? And if it is not, is it just purely not usable? Or is it usable but difficult? Or, well, what was exactly the situation? And we reported bugs uh, from this base. So it's the method you, you use. And the results is, uh, well, is a result which is not so, so, so bad. We, we worked essentially on Writer and Impress. And we uh, saw about 50 bugs uh, and um, a lot of perspectives which make us interested by the fact we could, well, collaborate together to make a, 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 a quite excellent productivity suite. So let's try now. Let's try some situations. Uh, I think it's important to show you uh, what kind of problems we could experience and uh, the, the level of stupidity of the problem, I would say. Um, to do that, I will 
switch to a document. And show you some interesting things. First thing I would like to show you is, for example, the problem we can have uh, when we uh, have uh, the template manager, which doesn't have any labels on the widget. So when we don't have any labels on the widgets, it means that when we tab with the keyboard, uh, with tab key, and your focus uh, reaches the widgets, the assistive technologies, which doesn't have any label to know what it is, say it's a button. So you tab, you get button. Wow, very good, it's a button, I'm happy. <laughs> but what is this kind of button? What can I do with this button? <laughs> Absolutely no idea. And in such, a, in such case, uh, of course, it's easy to fix. Uh, but if it isn't fixed, the, 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 um, the product uh, isn't quite accessible. Another kind of example we could try is the spell check. It's a very interesting example. The spell check, uh, it's a, a, a classical thing we want to do when we write a document, especially when you are not you misspell a lot of words that I can do. Well, here it's an example because it, uh, in my dictionary is in French, of course, and I inserted in English words, so you imagine the, the result. Okay, uh, so let's try to run the, the, the spell checker. So we arrive on the dialogue, and uh, now we are going to try to understand where is the misspelled word. So we mash tab, shift tab, add to dictionary push button, okay, in your all, in your ones, not in dictionary. And here, I have all the sentence which is mentioned. So it means that I'm unable to know in the sentence where is the misspelled word. And because the information we have in this dialogue is important to have the context, of course, but it should also indicate in the display with uh, capability to send to the assistive technology uh, that the, the word misspelled, the misspelled word is this and, and, and not another, uh, another word. Otherwise, the, the tool is not really uh, easy to use uh, when you have a, a problem to, to see with your eyes the, the situation. Well, let's go on, on this dialogue and let's go on shift tab because shift tab should enable to, 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 to do the, 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 to browse all the dialogue, all the dialogue, so, and here the focus is frozen. So here I tab, I shift tab, and I don't know, but I'm unable to move. I don't know why. And, well, for most people, it's confusing because, of course, they don't know where they are. And uh, using that in the daily life, of course, it, it, it's difficult. So it's, it can be considered like, like a, a problem of accessibility, an important problem of accessibility. Other kind of problem, always with the screen reader. So the screen reader has the, the feature that it, 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 it gets information from the labels uh, in the widgets, but also it um, displays one part of the information because we don't have any global uh, display of the screen when we are blind. We have just a line, a portion of life, a part of the line. So the screen reader has a, 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 a needs a, um, a very future. Uh, needs to, to, um, to have the proper information to, to, to be relevant, actually. And let's try now to, well, read the comments that I inserted in, in this document. Well, uh, to say I inserted, uh, I should uh, do the, 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 the demonstration. Also, that when I, demo when I try to, to open the comments, to add a comments, I can write the comments, but I no longer can go out the, the area to write the comments. And when I write to, to when I tried reading the, 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 the comments, okay, so I use my over case because over case is the way to browse in the documents and in the lines and in the characters per characters and to have a speech feedback on that. And if I do that, hmm? oh yeah, because it's not, okay. If you have a doubt about the fact I'm blind, you know that I am. <laughs> It's good. And so I go on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Microphone. And I arrive here. 
And the, the screen reader says, well, here there is a, a kind of character which is probably a comment or something. I don't know exactly what it is because uh, I don't have the information, but I know that there is something which is particular, which is not the text itself. The question now is how can I read this comment? Actually, I'm unable to, um, to bring the focus uh, on the comment or to display the, fo the, the comment for the screen reader. So actually, I'm unable to know what the comment which is inserted here. So it's uh, another accessibility bug which is easy to, 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 to show. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's easy to fix for this time, but it's easy uh, at least to, to, to show and to understand. And to finish, because I don't want to be so long on that, even if uh, I could uh, show other kind of bugs if you're interested, uh, I would be interested to do a, a, a slight comparison uh, between LibreOffice 426, which is the latest fully accessible release, and this release, the, the dev release uh, that I, I'm trying to, to, to run here, uh, with the, the, the famous uh, sidebar where we have the, the style uh, and formats bar and the navigation bar. When I, in the 426 release, so here, sorry it's in French, but uh, I didn't uh, have the time to, to, to switch it to English. Uh, I press uh, Control F11 to have the, the list of the styles. Of course, if I don't press the good key, it won't, doesn't work. Maybe. No. Up. So, at the end, I have the list of some of the most uh, commonly used uh, styles and more. Plus is more. Okay. And here it's very fine because I have the list of the styles. I can move with the arrow keys. If I tab, I can change style of paragraph, style of characters, char character styles. Uh, frame, le frame style, and I can do everything. I can also do the contextual menu to, oops, well, I'm not in the good uh, list, but if I was in the good list, I could, up, uh, here, I can here uh, mo modify the, the style, create a new style from an existing one, etc., etc. So in CAT 426, I consider that, that this feature is fully accessible and is very powerful. I could write a, a full book with that, a book with a, 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 a hierarchy, a, an index, a table of, of contents. So it works perfectly. It's the same for the browser, the navigator with F5. We can access to it without any problems and have a, an easy navigation in the document. Now, in the now the release, mm, well, if I do the same, huh? well, control F11, I'm, I'm used. And for the same reason, actually. Hop. So, it's in English, it's uh, more simple. <laughs> I go to more, more styles. And here, the focus is still in the document. It doesn't go anywhere. Well, not so important because if I press Shift F6, I go to the toolbar, and on the toolbar, or the sidebar, there is a style which is open. Okay. Start and formatting panel. Okay, so I know I am at the proper place. But now, if I try to do tab, K, I don't move. Or I arrive on a checkbox, an uh, unchecked checkbox. I don't know what it is because there isn't any label. So I don't know what this checkbox I, I could try to check in, but well, I don't know what it is. And if I go to the over case, it doesn't work also. Properties. I, I have a properties, a checkbox, and style and format, but the focus never arrives in the list of styles and never arrives in the uh, dialog where I could choose uh, all I want uh, uh, concerning the style, actually. So it can be considered that like a, an accessibility problem also because I no longer can, absolutely no longer can, change styles easily. Well, myself, I'm a geek, okay? So for myself, it's not so hard because actually if I search, if I tab, if I do a word case, if I do some random uh, trick, 
I can get something, I can get some interesting thing. But uh, for uh, 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 an end user, uh, a typical end user, it's a nearly impossible operation, actually. So it's a, 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 another accessibility program we can, we can mention, I think. So it was to show that uh, those bugs are often due to uh, missing of labels, um, missing of um, mm, capability to catch the focus on the carrot properly, and uh, to do alternatives, uh, that is, uh, going somewhere uh, with the um, focus on the keyboard, and not only with the mouse or uh, things like that. And it had existed in LibreOffice, but that's right today, it's less easy. Okay, so now, mm, how could we fix or avoid that? Or avoid, avoid that, sorry. <laughs> mm, actually, uh, there are three possible things. The first one, I don't know if, I, I'm not a technician myself, so the first one, uh, I know a uh, utility, you know, of course, uh, everyone, and I think uh, someone here, for some people here, can talk about it better than I. But there is a tool to generate the GUI, which is Glade, and Glade could enable to mm, very easily fix the problems, in particular concerning the label. Because it's easy with Glade to see the widgets, to see where, which widgets are labeled or not, and to label the widgets. So Glade is the first thing which enables to make uh, more accessible your new widgets or your widgets without any efforts and without any specific skills about accessibility. And that's the most important for me, that is developer could be interested minimum to the question, but especially uh, I don't want them to have additional work, just they do a clean code and with this clean code the application will be accessible. And later, it's the role of the screen reader, of the assistive technology, et cetera, and the infrastructure about accessibility to do the work properly. But to do the work properly, the application needs to send the good information, and it's an easy uh, way to send the good information. For people who are somewhat more interested, they can go further to test their fix using a tool which is Accessizer. Accessizer is a tool to show uh, in GTK at least, and also in Qt, uh, I think now, to show the uh, structure, the tree, of the objects which are sent to the accessibility structure. The accessibility infrastructure is called ATSPI. And the accessizer shows you, well, here's the information which is sent from your application to the bus accessibility, the accessibility bus. And from that, you know what the screen reader will have to, to, to deal with. And you know that, well, that uh, will be, uh, there is a label, there isn't any label, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a good way to know if some feature is accessible or not. The last thing is to test. To test is not so easy. If you, it's not so difficult. If you just use a keyboard to try a feature, try doing a feature exclusively with the keyboard, for example. And for example, you see that the style and format, the browsing, the sidebar would be a problem. It's easy to know if you test with the keyboard yourself and not only with the mouse, and you are aware of the problem, and maybe you can think of solutions to, to fix. Okay, uh, let's see what's the situation, a more complex situation now for the documents. For the documents, it's more complex. I have shown a few seconds ago the problem of the comments which are not accessible. I'm aware that it's more complex to fix, and of course, it's uh, another kind of work that maybe uh, for the, the, the situation we could imagine to pay someone for fixing that if uh, it requires so much time and so much effort. But well, it's, it's a bug. Also a problem is the tables. Uh, the tables uh, are today in writer not accessible perfectly because when the focus comes in the table, it is confused. Maybe I have the time to show quickly. Uh, if I try to come in the table here, Table, but the focus, I don't know. I have five, five lines, but the focus is completely lost when it comes in the table. So we have a solutions using tab K, using some random solutions, but basically the, the, the focus is, is, is confused, is lost when it is in this, uh, in, in this table. So it's a, it's a kind of, of other bug. Okay, what about Impress now? Impress has surprising results. 
Yes, I didn't think it was accessible at all. And I need to say, and I'm very happy to say that the slides you are seeing, I did it myself with, with Impress, well, with a visual control to be sure that it's not so bad. But at least it was possible for me to do it. So it's very uh, good news for me. There are some bugs which could be, uh, of course, fixed and to improve the, the, the product. Uh, for example, today we could not insert any shape without the mouse. We can uh, also have problems when we try to add text in transitions. It's a pity because today when, we do, when you do that, you uh, just have not labels in all the buttons, so the dialogue is not fully accessible. So there is something to do to do better, and uh, if we, we do better, of course, we will have a, a, a quite good list, a, a quite good utility. Okay. Mm, let's be aware that um, Impress, uh, even of Microsoft Office, is not quite accessible. I mean that it works, but a uh, visual impaired people, a person which tries to do that, uh, would need uh, a lot of effort to use it and a lot of visual help to be sure that the, 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 the presentation is, uh, is, is good. Actually, we could do much better with the free software because if, for example, we have predefined models with labels, we get extensive information which is sent to the uh, bus, the accessibility bus, we could have the capability for the first time in the world and in the history to write presentations completely alone without the help of no one. And in the professional context, it would be very a good thing for a blind person. And with free software, it's possible. And it doesn't require so much thing, only to, to work on the perspective of how to send more information, to label things, and to make things with alternative, with mouse and keyboard, to enable everyone to access to the feature. Well, what about LibreOffice Online? Very quickly, because uh, as I said so this morning, nothing to say of very interesting because it's not accessible at all. Because uh, the, access, the toolkit which is used to do the interface on the internet uh, is a, a tool which uh, essentially used, uses some uh, uh, picture and images, so it's very difficult to make, to make accessible. Uh, like what explained on the mid 2014 by Jacobo Perez, uh, which did a, a, a mini talk about it and which explains uh, somewhat the problem with uh, LibreOffice Online. Well, for Serpench, we could uh, help, of course, uh, and I, I, I hope to help, to, to help fixing bugs, to help financing the fixing bugs. But I think that, uh, as I said, we, we cannot fix all the bugs and all the future bugs. So it's also uh, the responsibility of developer to um, label things, to test the feature with cable, to, to try the feature to be sure that in at least the most simple situation, the easiest situation, the accessibility is uh, at least um, expected to work. So I think we can work together with the community so, we have a, so that we have an, we are an accessibility which is uh, at least for the most basic problem uh, fixed, and then we can see for uh, well, so the, the most complicated problems. Yes, it's a specific financing and funding because it uh, requires time and, and specific skills. Anyway, what I hope we can do is uh, focus on specific things, and if Dev uh, needs some feedbacks, of course they can contact us, and contact us is very easy on IRC, and we have uh, per persons now to help and to test. So. If you are ready to go to, to work together, it will be very cool for us. Thank you. <laughs>